awesome from greater than here. I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things to help get you in a better front rack position for something like cleans or front squat. The first one I've heard called a few different things, a butcher block or a, a lap tricep opener, but you're just gonna need a stick and a bench and then maybe something to pad your knees. I'm gonna take an underhanded grip on my stick, get my elbows at the edge of a bench here, and my hips are gonna be back. I'm gonna try to drop my chest through my arms here, Pull the bar towards my back like a curl. You can try this in different positions with my butt a little bit tucked under to expose my lats a little bit more, or I can untuck and get after my thoracic spine a little bit more aggressively here. You can pry around into some different positions, but you probably want to stay down in that position, flossing in and out for about one minute. The second one in that series for getting your front right position is going to be a cross bench pullover. You'll need the bench. I like to set the bench uh, probably at the base of my shoulder blades or the stiffest part of your mid back right here. And you'll need one dumbbell. Once my shoulder blades are set on the bench, get my hips up nice and high, get my dumbbell, hold it in my tri or my uh, diamond grip here, over my head. I'm going to point my elbows towards my feet, keep a soft bend, and then I'm going to reach my armpit and shoulder off the bench, and I keep that reach going. As I come over my head and feel a big stretch, then I'll squeeze and bring the dumbbell back over the top. You can drop your hips a little bit to get a little bit bigger stretch, and then squeeze both back up to that top position. Probably 10 reps like that, where you can spend two seconds in the bottom stretch position. All right, the last bit's just gonna be getting the wrists and the fingers open a little bit. So we'll just take this all four stance on the floor with our pointer fingers facing forward and we're gonna spin the pit of our elbow to face forward as well. We'll rock forward a little bit till we feel some stretch in the wrist and form and we'll push our fingers into the floor to bring ourselves backward again. We'll do five to 10 of these. And then we'll face our fingers backwards and sit our butt back a little bit to feel some stretch five to 10 of these, and then you can let the palm come off the floor one at a time. Stretch the fingers and the forearms a little bit differently right here. Then you're ready to go and get in your front rack position.